Hello brothers and sisters in Christ or anybody else that happens to find this video. This is another warning video about hand sanitizers. Thank you Tessa for sending this on. Okay, this one comes through CBS News on their online um, publication, whatever. Uh, written by Amy Peachy, <laughs> P-I-C-C-H-I, however you say that. It's titled, FDA Warns About Five Additional Toxic Hand Sanitizers. All right. It says, consumers should avoid five additional brands of hand sanitizer that tested positive for methanol, a substance that can be toxic when absorbed through the skin, or ingested, the Food and Drug Administration said. I'm finding it so hard to believe that people are actually ingesting this stuff. But apparently they are. Children, they'll drink anything just to see if they can get the lid off. They, You know, they're curious little creatures. Anyway, and the other ones that uh, just need a, because they can't, afford to go buy a bottle right now they try that <laughs> and it's making them very very sick all right so but even if you used it regularly on your hands it can be absorbed to your skin so that's why i'm putting this up it needs to be put out there because even here they're putting out brands i never saw before because the other places i guess can't keep up i don't know or this is cheaper. Okay. Okay, so the warning comes after the agency last month cautioned against any of nine brands of possibly toxic hand sanitizer that may contain methanol. The warnings come at a time when hand sanitizers... Strange dog. Hand sanitizers. Uh, okay, sorry about that. Um, oh, the warnings come at a time when hand sanitizers are in especially heavy demand due to the coronavirus pandemic. with public health officials urging consumers to frequently wash their hands and use hand sanitizer. For instance, the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention recommends using sanitizers that contain at least 60% ethanol alcohol, as well as frequently washing hands. The FDA said Thursday that methanol or wood alcohol is not an acceptable active ingredient for hand sanitizers and must not be used due to its toxic effects. That was a quote. Is not an acceptable active ingredient for hand sanitizers must not be used due to its toxic effects, unquote. The agency said it is aware of cases of adults and children who have ingested hand sanitizer made with methanol, which has led to blindness, hospitalizations, and death. That's pretty sad. I tell you what, a whole lot of that must have been drunk. Must have been Drunk. Drankin. I guess it's drunk. I'm not sure. Correct me if I'm wrong. The FDA is advising consumers to avoid products from the brands listed below, as well as these specific products with NDC. Hey, hey, hey. What are you licking? Excuse me a minute. Why are you licking your foot? 
You're turning it red, man. What's up with that? Ugh. He cleans himself like a cat. I tell you, half the time, I feel like I have a cat. Okay. Which is okay. I love cats, too. The FDA is advising consumers to avoid products from the brands listed below, as well as these specific products with NDC numbers, which it said tested positive for methanol. Okay, now, I'm going to give you the, the name of the product, but there's so many NDC numbers that if I start rattling them off, I'll lose half of you. And you might have one of these at your home. So you got to, if you have one of these names of product you need to go to this article and see if your the NDC whatever that stands for I can't I can't think of what it would stand for should be somewhere on the back of the bottle okay all right the first one is called Grupo Insomas hand sanitizer gel unscented 70% alcohol. That's what it says. All right. And then there's several NDC numbers listed. Okay. Trans Liquid Technologies Mystic Shield Protection Hand Sanitizer. I wouldn't buy anything with the word mystic on it anyway, but just in case that's all you could find, check these NDC numbers with your product okay the next one these are clearly I, I would say from Mexico Solucion's Cosmetica's S-A-D that's small D-E or do they pronounce it day uh-uh-uh no no licking that no Sorry, I need to put his, his Elizabethan collar back on his head. Um, he was asleep until I started eating my yogurt. Okay, sorry about all the interruptions. This is Solucion's Cosmetica's Sade CV's Bercy. B E R S I H hand sanitizer gel fragrance free. Let me check my position. Oh, I'm fine. Okay. And then there's several NDC numbers. Okay. Solutions Cosmetica's. S A D C V's antiseptic alcohol, seventy percent topical solution hand sanitizer, and no NDC numbers were listed for that one. So if you have anything with those names, solutions that's spelled S O L U C. I O N E S. I think it probably means solution. Cosmeticas. Okay, that's pretty much sounded out the way it says, the, the way I'm saying it. Cosmeticas. Okay. S A D or D E C V's. It's capital C, capital V, apostrophe S, antiseptic alcohol, 70% topical solution, hand sanitizer. The last one is Tropico Medicos S.A. Day CV's Brits, B-R-I-T-Z, hand sanitizer, ethyl alcohol, 70%. See, they're claiming it has ethyl alcohol, 70%, and yet they were found to have methyl alcohol in it. And there's many NDC numbers under that one. 
The FDA said that consumers who have been exposed to products with methanol and who are having symptoms should seek immediate treatment to reverse the effects of methanol poisoning, which can include nausea, vomiting, headache, blurred vision, or permanent blindness, seizures, coma, permanent damage to the nervous system, or death. And here's a quote. Young children who accidentally ingest these products and adolescents and adults who drink these products as an alcohol or ethanol substitute are most at risk, unquote, the FDA said. Well, that, that makes perfect sense. If you drink the stuff, it's going to get into your system even faster, and you'll have put a whole lot more in as opposed to a blob on your hand and rubbing it in. But if you're doing that 10 times a day, and you do it every day, you know, you could have effects. So, below are the previous Okay, that's kind of another ad for COVID stuff. Here, there's some stuff they've got it in between. Below are the previous nine brands in case you missed the other article about warnings. If you're a new subscriber or you just missed that video, here are the names of the other nine. All Clean Hand Sanitizer. <coughs> Ask, and there's an NDC number here. ESK-esk Biochem. Hand sanitizer, and there's one NDC number here. Clean Care, No Germ, Advanced Hand Sanitizer, 75% alcohol, and there's one NDC number here. Lavar 70 Gel Hand Sanitizer, and there's one NDC number. The Good Gel Antibacterial Gel Hand Sanitizer. Again, one NDC number. Clean Care No Germ Advanced Hand Sanitizer, 80% alcohol, and there's only one number given for that. Clean Care No Germ Advanced Hand Sanitizer with 75% alcohol. And there's one number given for that. Clean Care No Germ Advanced Hand Sanitizer, 80% alcohol. And there's a, a different NDC number for that one. So that means the same product has two NDC numbers on here. Saniderm Advanced Hand Sanitizer. Saniderm Advanced Hand Sanitizer. Okay, so I'm not giving the numbers because cause it, it's, it's too much and you need to look it up and compare it to your bottle if you have any of those names. Okay, so I'm going to copy and paste this, I'm sure, lengthy link into the description box. Okay, with that, I'm going to say bye for now. I will talk to you later.